As part of a concerted push to raise the level of the game of rugby in Canada, one of the areas getting increased attention is coaching. To that end, Rugby Canada and Rugby Ontario partnered for a weekend clinic, drawing in high school and club coaches from around the Toronto area, with guest coaches including Ireland Steve Abood, Canadian team forwards coach John Tate, and RFU referee development officer Brian Campbell, there was a lot of ground covered. Garrett John is Canada's high performance director. Well, the nicest part, first of all, is that they're all here hopefully to learn. And that's the big thing, is that uh, no matter who they coach, who their coaches are, us as coaches ourselves, that we're all here to try and better ourselves, to then take the information they gain back to better the people that they work with, whether it be in their club or their high school, eventually better the players that they work with. And if they better their players, that's only going to raise the standard, and therefore raise the standard of the national side, because that's the utmost goal that we're going to try and get to, is raise the standard of everything that's going on in, in Canada itself. And I hopefully that's what they'll get from being here for two days, from a coaching perspective and a refereeing perspective. Some of the practical demonstrations centered around the scrum and forwards play. With the assistance of some national team and long list players, John Tate showed how to run efficient practices and zero in on key areas in the scrum. Well, the main uh, message is just, I mean, what, what we're just trying to bring current information to, uh, to guys because uh, there's a real lack of rugby on TV here and uh, you know the, the information is not so available. So I think, uh, I think this is a good setup to give guys you know, that, that current stuff. And, and the other thing is just maybe some techniques on, on, on how they're coaching things to do, just to make it more realistic for matches and, and the, keeping in mind that they have such limited time to, to, to work with the guys. Tuesdays and Thursdays are the, are the two and a half month high school seasons really, you know, what you consider limited because, because of all the technical aspect of, uh, of rugby. Paul Ambrose coaches an Ontario squad and as a member of the McCormick Cup champion Balmy Beach, he says while there was a lot of information, he managed to pick up a couple of useful nuggets that he will be taking back to his squad. Particularly today uh, from the scrummaging, but earlier we did a, a, a session with uh, the halfbacks and uh, certainly you know, no, no, no one coach is an expert in everywhere. Uh, certainly, halfbacks wouldn't be my forte. But it was uh, we had a really good session um, mm -hmm. and uh, picked up a few new things there. Brian Campbell led a session with some of Ontario's top referees. His message is to simplify things as much as possible. On the, on the DVDs is basically simple messages that we would use uh, to all our referees, whether at the top level or whether at the bottom end. Uh, everything simple, try to give them some structure of how to control the scrum, which is a big sort of area, problem area for referees worldwide. And then just some direction in the tackle and the use of preventative words, uh, communication skills, etc. All being done by the DVD, so all the messages were very, very simple. So the For Garrett John, the turnout of over 100 coaches is a sign the game is headed in the right direction. I was hoping to see about sort of 20 in each group, but to see the numbers that uh, that we've had with 35, 40 in, uh, in some of the groups and sort of 50 in one of the groups, then, uh, then we have exceeded uh, the numbers and also again uh, put a lot of information to a lot of people. In Toronto, Doug Cross reporting.